Ah, yo guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we're gonna be trying to figure out who served the most time by ranking a group of people. And to spice it up a little bit, if you didn't know, I myself have also served some time, you know? <laughs> so I'm also include myself in this ranking and try to figure out where do I stand with these ex-convicts. Let's go. All right, this group will start off by assessing appearances. They aren't allowed to mention their convictions until the final reveal. Appearances. Hey, ju judge me. How much time do I look like I've done just based on my appearance? Hmm. Um, she look like a baby. Oh, there's another Asian guy. <laughs> so I think she probably did the least time. So I think you should. Yeah, yeah I, I would think her too. Yeah, like you just took your braces off last week. And Dang, just because she's a girl? Or I guess she looks young? And then I think he did the most time, yeah, in my opinion. Too, the white like guy got the most time? Most vibes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yeah, I agree. I don't think so. I don't know. I mean, he is a older fellow, but nah, I don't think he's going to be most time. Man. I feel like I should at least switch with you. I think she should be at the end. But that girl's trying to defend herself. Obviously, she's done some time. I think me and him should switch. Tyrone. I feel like Tyrone looks like he's done a lot of time. I'll go back over here then. I'll go back <laughs> over here. I think we're off by a lot. I mean, we can't really tell. Oh no, this dude might have done a stretch the way he's talking. <laughs> this one? The Asian guy? The, I feel like the Asian guy is the hardest to tell. I mean, I definitely don't think he's up there in the top two or three, but you never know. Yeah, he doesn't give me songs. criminal vibes. No criminal vibes, bruh. Let me tell you, when I went to prison, almost everybody approached me like, yo, what are you doing here? You guys think I'm playing, don't you, huh? I'm not playing. We'll have to wait till the end of the video for the big reveal. But well, he ain't got enough tattoos for that. <laughs> I don't know what he's hiding underneath that long sleeve. Exactly. Right, because they be on his back. Most of the tattoos are on the back. No, no, tattoos. no stereotype, but most of the, you know, Asian yeah. culture tattoos be on their back. He's so I feel like tattoos on the back? Yeah, you're right, you're right. Maybe me and her need to switch. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cause she's talking like she's been around. Probably so. Exactly, see, the Asian guy knows what I'm talking about. She's talking like she's been around. Is that a yard tattoo? Uh, first of all, no. <laughs> <laughs> the group will now discuss experiences in prison. Hmm, okay. Did anyone do, was it federal or state time? State. 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 What about you? Federal time. Oh, you know, you got to. Yeah. White color. <laughs> I did federal time too, so. Mm. Uh, how long we been out? Right. Oh, that's, that's a good like question. 14 years. 14, 14 years? Wow. Uh, my daughter's 13, I'm um, 12 years. 12 Ten years. Man. I've been out two years. Two years. Seven. Um, six. six. What is it, 2023? I got out, I think 2018. I've been out four years going on five. Something like that. All right, I want to know what time you guys wake up every morning. <laughs> Seven. 5.30. 6 o'clock. Between 4.30, 5 o'clock. That, that's some real prison time. 4.30? Uh, you guys are early. <laughs> How about you? At 10 every day. 10? 10. 10? Hey, this man is enjoying sleeping in. I get up at 6.18 every day. I got to get them extra 18 minutes. I don't want to wake up right at 6 o'clock. Right wake up here. at 7? I, I wake up at 6. <laughs> you, didn't you he say 7? <laughs> no, 6. I'm not alone. <laughs> yeah. Just because he wakes up a little later than she does? What time does she get up? Seven. Five thirty. She gets up at five thirty, and the Asian guy gets up at six. So just because she gets up a little bit earlier, she's like, "Nope, I did more time than you." <laughs> what was your biggest pet peeve inside? Snitches. <laughs> if I gotta complain about something, I used to have a bunkie who was Puerto Rican, and yo, he and his Puerto Rican buddies would just—they would talk so much and so fast, and even at night, like when lights are off, they would just keep talking at normal voice or if not louder. And bro, it was so hard to sleep. Oh, and another thing, lights were always on. It was never pitch black. So if you had a top bunk and lights are off, bro, you still got like a light in your eyes and it was just hard to sleep. Since I'm the only girl, girlfriend drama, uh, it was crazy. I can see that. I've seen, I've seen <laughs> some stuff. I can see that. <laughs> I mean, we gotta work out every day. It's mm -hmm. mandatory, you know? So yeah, some man. people like to slack off and I didn't like that. Yeah, you need everybody to be on top of shape, you know what I mean? Because any second anything can go down. I feel like what Mario said is, it's more true if you're in state prison or if you're in like a higher security uh, federal prison. I was in low custody prison. Actually, it was like, it was the lowest of the low because there was the camp, which was the lowest custody. There's a low, medium, and then high. So there's four levels of custody 
in federal prison. So where I was at, um, there wasn't really a lot of fights or anything like that. You didn't have to be so worried about someone trying you pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> I, I didn't do any drugs or anything like that, but being able to go to exercise and run, right, that, right. that was a great, that was better than any drug that I could take. That was We know you didn't do drugs. Really? Yeah. <laughs> We know you didn't do drugs. I can agree. I was looking at him and I was like, this guy don't do drugs. <laughs> you know what the CRT is, right? The I technical was, team? Yeah, you already know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get that yeah. yeah, so like what was that for you guys is like especially your first time experiencing that. And when you know they're coming for your 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 cell or your dorm particularly. You know what? I did have an experience because before I went to federal prison, I was held at a state prison for about one month. And they didn't have a team, they just had a prison guard come in and just rummage through our stuff and uh it wasn't so bad i mean i didn't really have anything anyways to look through so i think all i had was my mattress maybe a towel and that's probably about it maybe a shirt <laughs> man i just don't want to go through just cleaning up everything again you have food yeah, still there we are like every, the waters the, the juices whatever and you just gotta clean up so, so like, if man. cleanup was your biggest concern yeah i feel like you're in the right spot I was like, contraband queen, so I'm gonna go to solitary. You know, I didn't even know what contraband meant until I was in prison. And even when I was in prison, it took me a while to figure out what it was. <laughs> the group would now discuss treatment in prison. Ooh, okay. How much solitary time has everyone served? I went in a hole for 60 days. 60 days? Straight. The most at one time for me is 90. 90. I never went to the hole, unfortunately. Never went to the hole. No, I, was, I was on my best behavior. I was trying to get out. We should, should be in the middle. I, I think she definitely should be at least. Bruh. 90 days, 60 days. Do you guys know how much time I spent in the shoe? I spent nine months in the shoe. 240 days to be exact. I know because I counted every single day. I actually drew a calendar and marked it every single day. Counted 240 days, bro. That was, that was the hardest part of my time. Does everyone feel like the prison system is adequate in reforming? You look, is prison working? Statistics are so clear about how many people go in, go out, and then go right back in. So recidiv recidivism rates in this country are atrocious. You hit the other side and you're not ready, and then you have this whole problems of banking and, and housing and employment. I think the programs that they offer helps a lot, but like I think we can all agree on this, that it's on the person, on the individual. Yeah. Exactly, that's what I'm thinking too. Like, it doesn't work unless you're trying to make it work, unless you're really putting in effort. Because there's a lot of people that go through it and it doesn't help because, you know, they're just there just to be there. But you really gotta apply yourself. That's what I'm trying to say, you gotta apply yourself. Because when I went to prison, I was like, you know what, I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm gonna read, I'm gonna work out. I'm gonna just do whatever I can with the time I have and with where I'm at, pretty much. A lot of people go in there and they just go through the motions and they'll complete the program. But as soon as they get out, it's right back to the, to the whatever put them in there the first time. Tyrone knows, man, he's, he's definitely up there, man. I wanna say he's number one. He's probably done the most time. Like sometimes you can get just the little things in prison made you have, like you have some sense of humanity. Just like being able to wear your own shoes. To me, that was a big plus from being in the county. Yeah. Where you were so restricted to not really have been able to do none of that. Yeah, I mean, one thing for me, like the visits, I really enjoy seeing my family. So in prison, you could hug them, you could see right, them, meet right. with them. Whereas in county, it's like through the glass, and you're like, man, only 20 minutes yeah. or even 15 for some place. I think you should come back over here. <laughs> Damn, Mauro thinks he's down there? He probably is then. I don't know, because he's never been in the shoe. And I guess he didn't really care about visits. The group will now do a final ranking based on who they think served the most prison time. Ooh. -hoo. I think my man should be right here because he's been talking about some in and out. I, I know he did more time. And he don't work at, yeah. he don't work in and, and out in the prison. You hear me? How he won't talk about the burger place when he say in and out. I would normally Love say you. American Greed guy <laughs> should be like over here. Nah, nah, I don't think. I forgot his name is, but yeah, American Greed, nah, he ain't no top three. I would say he's in the middle. It's hard to tell, because he didn't really have too much to say with any of the questions. Yeah, 85%. Yeah, the is you're going to do most of the time. 85%. Yeah, because I mean, the Ponzi scheme, they do get a lot of time. Who said Ponzi scheme? They look like a Ponzi scheme. They're just, that's awful. <laughs> judging you I'm by your peers. We were doing so well. They're judging you by your peers. Everyone is just like, even in and out. Everybody's just like, but it never fails. Everyone is just presumed. You do that. Please, see Tyrone, bro. I don't know. I just, something about Tyrone, he's just up there. The stuff he talks about, it's it's the type of stuff that someone who's done a lot of time would 
point out and mention. If right, nothing it, else, just like he said, think about it. Is this the final verdict right Fed here? time. 85%. Fed time. Oh, yeah. You're going to do 80% or more. I don't yeah. think you're number one. No. So what Tyrone is saying, that time you do at least 80% of your sentence time. So... If you got sentenced to like five years, you're only gonna do 80% of that. But that's with good behavior. If you have bad behavior, you lose that good time, but you won't do any longer than, you know, you're sentenced five years. I think in state, you do less. I think some places they do like 50%. So even though in state prison, you get like 10 years in prison, if you do 50%, you're only doing five years on good time. So that's pretty crazy. I don't think I am either. I would actually maybe switch you to. I would too, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Think, yeah. yeah. Okay, okay, yeah, I like that. I agree with that. Okay, standing. I still think Tyrone should be in the front. Maybe the girl second, the Spanish guy third, American Greed fourth, and you know, Asian guy stay there. And what's that dude's name? Nicholas? I forgot, but I don't know. I feel like the Asian guy and Nick could, could probably switch. Asian guy's probably the last. Oh, and me? I would say I would be third. I, I think I'm after that girl. Because the girl seems like she's done some time. I feel like the guys on the end, they probably did, didn't really do too much time because they're not trying to, you know, go more to the right. So, yeah. But yeah, I think I'm third. <laughs> Let's go. Now they will be rearranged based on actual time served. Mario. Damn, Mario's really done the least. Wow, right. Nine months? Oh. I knew it. Nine Tell you, yeah. months? Are you so serious? <laughs> <laughs> In the fifth spot, we have Nick. Hey, <laughs> one year? <laughs> In the fourth spot, we have Justin T. At one year and 23. Hey, okay. Wow. I knew he was like in the middle. Oh, they gave you. You should be happy for him. It could have been worse. Yeah, I yeah. am happy for you. For real. Congratulations. Thank you. Congratulations. <laughs> in the third spot, we have Tyrone at three years. Dang, Tyrone did three okay. years. Oh, don't tell me you the badass. Oh, shoot. Well, I'm at three years too, so I'm in the third spot with Tyrone. <laughs> I'm not, though. In the second spot, we have Jessica. Five years. Five years. Wow. What the? The Asian dude's at the top? Bro, he's super humble. What? If Jessica's done five years, the Asian dude probably did, I'd say no more than six. Huh, let me know. Let me find out what the nail salon is. Nail salon. In the first spot, Justin C at 14. Dang. Oh, that's Justin. 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 Oh, man. That's crazy. What the heck? Bruh. Damn, my boy. Wow. <laughs> oh, I just didn't get that vibe from him. I know. What? 14 years? He was playing the game the whole time. He already knew he did the most time. He was just like, whatever. You don't even look at him. <laughs> you, you looked at him. He don't. What the heck? Let's see. I guess they were pretty... Yeah, Jessica was right, second to top. Tyrone was third the whole time. Okay, they got that right. All right, so I was on probation for sales, and then I got caught with weed again. I was a drug dealer. I was transporting narcotics across state lines. Look and behold, I was a part of a sting operation. Didn't know it. They were surveilling me for like a couple, like three days. So I pled guilty. Dang. Do a white collar crime, one count of conspiracy to commit fraud, robbery, and possession of stolen property. Dang. I was in gangs. <laughs> I was a crip, originally sentenced to seven. Wow. So since me and Tyrone are tied, I got three years for copyright infringement. You know that thing you see every time you watch a movie? It says, boom, up to five years for copyright infringement. I had a music website called rockthismusic.com. They were trying to give me the maximum, but your boy got three years. And like, I owe a lot of money too. <laughs> My convictions are possession with intent, delivery of meth, and simultaneous possession of drugs and a firearm. Firearms are the worst. Oh man. So I went in for- mm, This guy. It's gotta be ecstasy or something. I don't know. It's gotta be something super lucrative. 14 years? Man, I don't know. Maybe he stole a lot of stuff. Robbery, drugs, guns too. Let's see, let's find out. For first degree murder, attempted murder, gang related. Yep, violence. By, by shooting, um, something that I'm very remorseful for. I do believe that I was rightly sentenced to 
82 years to life. My sentence was commuted by Governor Brown to 15 years to life. 82 years to life? What? Did I hear that right? I don't even know what that means. I mean, 82 years already sounds like a life sentence. I went in young, I turned away from the gangs, got my GED, my college degrees. So I'm just trying to create a different narrative and that's the reason why I came on here because, you know, people do change. People are not the horrible choice they made as a, as a teenager. Your story. You see, like, it, this goes to show yeah. a lot, like, if I see any one of you guys on the street, maybe I'll think I'm the bad one. But yeah, I would think that one too. Like, yes, I, true. I was like, man, this this guy, he he's done a lot of time. <laughs> it's the tattoos, man, the tattoos. It was you. you, know, you guys, then maybe but, me. I said, <laughs> but that's crazy. The Asian guy said he doesn't have any tattoos, and he's done 14 years. I mean, I did three, and I don't have tattoos either. But, I mean... You know, maybe if I found a good tattoo artist when I was in prison, I probably would have done it, but nah. <laughs> oh man, that was crazy. I did not expect that dude to do 14 years. Nah. But what did you guys think? Did y'all guess it right? Did you guys even think that I did time for real? <laughs> I think my first video is um, a vlog of me getting out of prison and uh, it was pretty cringy. Pretty cringy to wa uh, watch. <laughs> but alright guys, thanks for dropping by. See y'all next one. Yeah!